Bush here. people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Over there. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. You two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Yep. Let's hitch up here. Let me do the talk. We don't want to scare these folks. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left, and stay low, both of you. What are you doing? Get inside the shed. Arthur, what are you doing? I said get out of sight. Over in the cattle shed. Position. Come on. I said the cattle shed, Arthur.
Not there. Over in the cattle shed. I said the cattle shed, Arthur. Not there. Over in the cattle shed. Arthur, take cover in that shed over there. disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur, need some there's a body food in the wagon. Uh, I hear you. Just... Gentlemen. Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please. I am kind of desperate. Hey, I don't believe it. Come here, partner. Come here! It's goddamn Dutch Vanderlyn, you morons! Comb is gonna shit his pants! Put your head yeah. Look out, there's more to pass! upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Meet me out 
out here when you're done. Bastard was married to. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Are you going to check that barn? Where's Como Driscoll? Uh, with the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards uh, doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. Get the hell out of here. Go. Bastard. 
bastard scurrying off. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Get that horse hitched. Don't want him bolting. Gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And father's been me. Miss, you are safe now. You can't stay here. You come with us. Of course. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Homestead, but we weren't the first. Comb O'Driscoll. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong, and he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... two days. Your John will be fine. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? 
We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Continue along the cliff wall here. Davy got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, come on, stick with me. There you are. Let you run out on me for a second. So I was saying. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. trail again. Almost there. Come on now. Hey, look. Over there. You see that? John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Watch out here. In the end of that, we're high up here. You're telling me. Careful. There's a drop here. It's slippery. Be careful. Watch your head here. Okay, good now. Watch your step, this is real slippery. Stay close to the wall, up here. Come on. Gap here. Over here. I 
sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that on the ridge? You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. Okay. Here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Get out of here! Get out! Look out on the right! We got more wolves on the left! 
Get the hell out of here! Get out of here! Right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving? Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Oh, here we go. There we go. <gasps> Ay, careful, idiotas! It's his leg! Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough, I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. Bit of bad luck. Covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit. And we go back to Blackwater and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose.
Excuse me. Up with you boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. You Easy. said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score they're planning. This way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love. Watch out! The people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. Whoa! I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Oh. Yes, I did. I hope the bastards will be... See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Goddamn ready. Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. There they are. Uh, that's Devin. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Arthur. 
Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. I don't think this is the right one. Hey. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm and wait. Okay. There's enough of the bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Deep here. Careful. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. Take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Make the call, Arthur. So why they let you go? What the hell are you doing? God damn it! All right, boys. Kill these. Kill every last one of these bastards. Let's go. this if you want just make the call you want to take the lead go you sure the touches boys Oh! 
bodies. Everything we can from them. You recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun, ride a horse, and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Keep looking! We need everything we can get off of these bastards! Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the forest! Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Watch, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Perfect. The 
plans. Okay, boy. Let's go. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys, all of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Matt, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know. They will all be back. Well, you didn't get caught, but this hit'll hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. We're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater.
that won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Mister. your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Something you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Shut it for you. I don't know nothing real about him. Honest. Oh, take it easy. You're gonna break my ribs. Please, I'll do anything. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. Introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice.
on a little shit, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Yep, yep. Ooh, sorry. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. Okay. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't... Come on. This way. <laughs> yeah! How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid Miss... Dick. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just kept... Flippo right... Something to kill? It ain't an old Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwood. Getting stuck in the storm. Going out for John. That thing with the old Driscoll's. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. 
I didn't mean it like that. It's just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Patches of grass here. This is good. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. Careful! Oh, watch it. <sighs> Has deer been here? Recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. Come on. Grab that bow off the horse. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. Slow and quiet, Arthur. You see the tracks? Uh, I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Crouch down a bit. Keep following the tracks, Arthur. See him? Are you ready with that bow? Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Good shot. Now let's try for another.
Focus, Arthur. We need this meat. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hand's okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. 
Come on, we should really be getting back. Finish up here. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back. Arthur! There's no Driscoll's around! Well, maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still bleak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? Uh, careful. Still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't hey even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost Whoa. her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? Uh, uh, I suppose we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Hey, get back on your horse. You must be Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. <laughs> <laughs> 